This fateful day, we find our hero waiting for the first sign of danger to strike. How will Destiny's heavy hand come knocking on his door today? And who could this be? Friend? Enemy? Who knows? Hello? How the hell did you get my number? Um, yeah, I'm a little tied up at the moment. I told you never to call me when I'm busy. Just stop calling me. I don't want to hear it. Just stop calling. Ooh, that was intense. Look, Mom, stop being such a bitch. And stop calling me all the time and... Oh, R Richard, hey, what's going on? What is going on? What was that? <laughs> what was what? Oh, never mind. Are you, are you gonna be here soon? I'm leaving now. Our hero's perilous journey has begun. Can he make it to the end alive before time is up? He better hurry. I've been waiting here for like five hours. I tried calling your phone like over 9,000 times, but you never picked up. He never picked up. Our hero has better things to do than answer petty phone calls as he saves our city from destruction and peril. Who's that? Unannounced to Richard, he just got himself in way over his head. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Remember I've always said that you know, I need a little more action in my life? Yeah. Well, I decided to hire a movie narrator. You know, kind of like the ones from the movie shows that we see on TV. Pretty cool, huh? Is this really necessary? Couldn't you have just taken up an extreme sport or something? No. Now, let's go get lunch. Before it's too late. With his faithful sidekick willingly behind him, our hero rides off into the sunset on the ultimate quest for adventure. Oh, just shut up already, huh? I mean, come on. You ever just, just enough. Just, just stop talking. Shut up. Enough already. Heated. Our hero seems to be cracking under pressure. I'll crack your goddamn skull open if you don't shut up. Tension rises as our hero thinks of the new. Ugh, that's it. 